Okay, so why are gold and silver priced at zero? <laughs> it's an easy explanation. So let's talk about it. This is the Hey Ed YouTube channel. I am your host, moderator, and all around nice guy, Edward Anderson. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research before you're doing anything with your money. Today, we're going to be talking about why gold and silver uh, and oil are priced at zero on the U.S. debt clock. Now, a couple of days ago, I did a video uh, referencing the U.S. debt clock, and I was pointing out the vagaries of inflation, and I pointed out some key uh, details inside of the debt clock. But in the process of doing that, Several people noticed <laughs> that on the debt clock, they had oil and silver and, and gold priced at zero, and they were freaking out. I got some messages in the comment section, and I got some emails from people saying, why is silver and gold priced at zero? <laughs> so let's revisit the U.S. debt clock and take a look at what's going on. Okay, so here we are in the trusty old U.S. Debt Clock, which you can check out for yourself at uh, usdebtclock.org. Mm -hmm. And the numbers that people were, were referencing were over here on the far right. And they notice here, dollar to silver ratio, zero dollars. Dollar to gold ratio, zero dollars. And the dollar to oil ratio, <laughs> zero dollars. And let me show you something here, all right? Let's scroll this guy up a little bit. So take a look at this top box here that says usdebtclock.org. Okay. When you hold your cursor over a certain window, so let's go down to silver, for example. If I go down to silver and I hold my cursor over this asterisk, look up in the box here in the middle there. You'll, you'll see it gives you a, a little explanation. And it says, in this case, a year-over-year -year increase in the U.S. M2 money supply divided by the yearly world production of silver. So you get a little explanation there, and if you scroll up to uh, oil, you get and you get this, and you get another explanation. So whenever you see an asterisk in any of these windows, just hold your cursor over the asterisk, then go up and read the explanation. So what's happening here is they're giving you a ratio uh, between the M2 money supply versus the production of silver or gold or oil. Okay, so it's a complicated formula. This is not a number you want to refer to in order to check out the current market price of things. Okay, this debt box is not going to tell you the current value of silver or gold or oil. Okay, all right. This, as far as I'm concerned, this number here, that box, is relatively useless. Okay, um, unless you're some you know PhD candidate in economics and <laughs> you need to reference that number, it doesn't matter to uh, any of us. Okay, so. Do not panic when you see the price of oil or gold or silver uh, in that box at zero. That's not the current market value of those products, okay? So again, they take the M2 money supply versus uh, the production of a particular product. So if you're a veteran to my channel, you know that 40% of all U.S. dollars in existence were printed in the last two years alone. Just an incredible printing spree by the Federal Reserve very irresponsible. They could not send out checks fast enough, okay? But in the very recent past, the last couple of months, the, the growth of the M2 money supply has come down a little bit. Well, so what, okay? <laughs> it's gone up so dramatically uh, over a short period of time. So right now it's in a little bit of a pause, the growth of the M2. So it, it, it's, it's, it, it's trending down here a little bit, just a little bit. But at the moment, the money supply is going down a little bit. Now, now when the M2 money supply was shooting straight up, of course, the ratio of dollars printed versus silver was like over $5,000 at, at, at one point. Okay, so this is just a ratio. Don't worry about it. Do not use a U.S. debt clock in order to check on the price of your silver or gold or oil. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I hope that solved the mystery for you. If you don't mind, give, give my video a like, maybe subscribe, and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about, about what I just said. Edward Anderson, live from Minnesota, signing out. Copy that.